Good evening, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Pokemon Sword. I am Dead M, just sitting here on a bench waiting for everything to get going. Can I sit down? No, it has to be in the center, huh? Well, that's silly. <clears throat> so, uh, just to go and recover, cover up things, we've got Pansia. Pansia is going to be in first, going to throw out toxic spikes and solve, you know, chip damage for everybody. We've got Trust Pilot. Trust Pilot is just a, a monster as well as AV. If we run into flying, we've got Martha, and Martha's going to deal with that. If we run into water, we've got Pi here. Pi is grass and dragon. That little worm is a dragon. And if we run into uh, grass or gosh, uh, steel type, we do have Sid for a backup option. We should have a fully rounded team. Everything should be a-okay. So here we go. We already defeated uh, one challenger, so on to the second. And you know, for the whole game, only having 12 deaths really is quite the accomplishment, at least for me. So we get to go and fight our rival from the beginning, Hop. I just had a sort of a flashback, you know. Remember back when we were still in Postwick? When we got our Pokemon from Lee that day? I never would have dreamed it'd end up standing here facing you of all people. <laughs> but it's time I finish what I started that day. Got it? The one who becomes champion is me. <clears throat> Ooh, sorry. So. Op is actually a really difficult fight, as I remember. Even though, for some reason, he only has five Pokemon. I don't think he has any poison type or steel type, but I might be wrong. If he does have poison or steel type, then I'm literally wasting my time uh, with these toxic spikes, but I'd much rather waste my time with these toxic spikes than uh, not. Ooh. I'm glad you learned a lot from watching Lee's bat matches. Way to go, Hop. Then you know exactly what I'm doing. I'm setting up chip damage for later. Alright, so now we're going to do Baneful Bunker and hopefully the uh, Wulu will attack me and get poisoned. There we go. Yes! So now we're doing chip damage no matter what. It's great. And we can do either Venoshock or Liquidation. We're going to try Venoshock. Because I believe uh, the Cotton Guard buffs just regular attack, not special, or regular defense, not special defense. There we go. And there we go. Trainer is about to send out Snorlax. Comes out immediately poisoned. And we're going Venom Shock again. That's a critical hit. The problem with Snorlax is Snorlax is. Oh! Ooh! Ooh, that is. That is scary.
Um, do I want to keep Pansy out? Uh, I do. I want to go and do Venom Shock. Critical hit, yay. I won't be keeping Pansia out uh, much after uh, this attack. Full restore. Oh, that is bad. Okay, so we're going to do Baneful Bunker to try and get a poison in. And then I think we're going to have to swap out Pansia. <clears throat> he keeps on doing high horsepower, which is a ground, ground move, which is why I keep on being scared for Pansia. Um, I can't chance being crit with that so uh, we're going to flop to trust pilot because trust pilot is flying which means that should be immune to ground moves which means it should be a safe switch there we are. It doesn't affect Trust Pilot. Fantastic. Trust Pilot, uh, do Steel Wing. Hammer Arm. Good. Avoided it. Nice. Trust Pilot, do Drill Peck. And there goes the end of Snorlax. Good job. Okay, AV grew up, Pi grew up, so I like to see. All right. So, uh, let's do drill pack just to go ahead and chip it down. Curse. All right. Fight and drill pack. Part of the reason why I'm doing this, why I know that's not effective. Oh, no, 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 no. Um, Pokemon. Who can take that electric move? Um. So, it's either Martha or Pi. Um... Oh, yes. Okay, so we're going to swap in the pie. We're going to swap in pie. That's what we're going to do. Uh, I'm pretty sure that the pin cushion here, Thunderbolt shouldn't be as effective on pie. Good. Uh, has an ability... Oh, well, if I can just stall, that would be fine. That's fine, Pi. Raise your defense. Ooh. Well, I'm so glad that you learned about poison, too. Uh, 
Uh, I was pretty sure that, that Pokemon had the ability where uh, you would take one eighth or one quarter of your damage. Um, Pi, you're getting out of there. Uh, we're going to swap to Martha. Martha can go and do exactly what that little pincushion did. Not very effective. Good job. All right. So, Thunderfang. Nom, 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 nom. What do you mean you avoided it? Martha. Get over here and Thunderfang him. Uh, aiming for a super effective hit. Yeah. Thunderfang again. Mmm. <laughs> Gosh darn it. All right. So, back into a corner. Yep, yep. I did not plan things out well. Uh, check summary. So Pansia would be great for defense. I think I gotta choose AV. So we're gonna swap in AV. <laughs> and he's going to Dynamax, which makes everything really scary. I didn't, I didn't plan things out very well. Hopefully, AV can survive. Oh, wow. Wow. Look at how little that did. Oh dear lord, Avi's just... Yep, no, way to go, Avi. Fantastic. Fight. And geyser it. That's right, Avi, you deal with that fire bunny. The creepy water bug is going to kill the fire bunny. Ooh. Not so bad. Super effective. Still only did like a third. There we go. Trust Pilot grew to 54. Sid grew to 53. Fantastic. Defeated Trainer Hop. Thanks, mate. I'm really glad you were the one here with me. 
Here's money. And the victor of the semifinals, the challenger who has won their way through all the many hopeful trainers of the gym challenge is Challenger Dead M. You know, even when Sonya was saying that you and me looked like we could become heroes, I really felt like one. But you, mate, I think maybe you could do all sorts of great things. Good on you, Dead M. And Toxa Pex, Pantia, <laughs> all the rest of your team. All right, loading screen. There we are. All right, and there's Lee doing his little fancy pose. Dead M. That was incredible. Brilliant. Honestly, there is even tears rolling down my face before I knew it. To think the two of you set out from the same town to build up the greatest teams and arrive here at this point to throw everything you had at one another. Those moves filled the undefeatable passion. It was battling at its purest in every possible way even though some trainers who weren't sure whether you are f fit to be endorsed for the gym challenge at first <laughs> that was you Lee well then all the more reason my team members and I will give you everything that we've got to defeat our challengers and the challenger standing before us might well end up being you, Dead M. In fact, that's precisely what I'm hoping for. That's right, Dead M. The real challenge is what's coming up next. And I'm completely exhausted. I just want to go back to the hotel and rest. Best to refill the energy stores first. Why don't you go? Why don't we get some dinner together? I would say no, but you never cared all at all what food tastes like, Lee. A night like this deserves more than rubbish takeaway. So at least pick something good. What to do? Do 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 Challenger Dead M Hey Challenger Dead M We've got some questions for you. First question You and Challenger Hop were both endorsed by the champion, making the two of you rivals in a sense, wouldn't you say? How does it feel to have defeated your rival? I'm glad I could beat him. It doesn't quite feel real yet. It was just luck that I won. Well, it wasn't luck. So I'm just glad that I beat him. Question number two. If you wanted to tell Challenger Hop something right now, what would it be? I thank him for the great match. I tell him how strong he was. Uh, that he was just the rival I knew he was. That seems like a, a sideways slight. Slight. Question three. Level with me, Kino. Your honest thoughts here. Think you can win the finals too? I absolutely do. I'm not sure. I doubt it, really. I am hopeful and say I absolutely do. All right, all right, that's enough. Get into a ready time from battle. And you've been asking rather rude, rather rude questions. We've got ourselves dinner plans with my brother, so sorry. But clearly off already, would you? <coughs> yes, yes, I understand. Looking forward to seeing the birth of a new star. Hmm. 
People sure have it rough, huh? I hope Lee gets here soon. I could eat my own arm about now. Uh, I'd rather eat Snorlax's tail. Several hours later. <laughs> this is absurd. Even Lee's never this late. Something not right. He always does what he says he'll do. As a kid, he promised me he'd become champion one day. And then he went and just did that. <laughs> he ought to be able to keep his own dinner plans. <coughs> <coughs> God. Kids sure got a mouth on him, huh? But if you were that noisy during the battle, you'd unleash a whole new level of power, you know. Oh, pack it in, Pierce. I'm seriously worried here. So, I don't need to see your smug mug looking like you're having got having a go at me, even though you act like you've given me good advice. Judging by appearances, no wonder you lost to your mate. If you're looking for the champion, I saw him heading for Rose Tower. Uh, Rose Tower? Don't know what he's up to, but I ran into him on the monorail platform. He's he said to tell you he had something to do at Rose Tower, so he'll be a little late to your dinner. But why Rose Tower? What could we have done at this hour? Piers, do us a favor. Take us to Rose Tower, would you? Neither did I know I know the way. Cease. What rude siblings always so demanding of each other. Though, I suppose... It's a real problem for me, too. If the finals are heading up for any reason, and I don't really hate the two of you little reds, you were good enough to beat me after all. So I think I'll in invite Team Yellow along. We'll all be having ourselves a bit of fun, shall we? Brilliant! You're the best, Pierce. Let's go make a real ruckus. All right. So with that being said, I believe we're going to end it for today. Yay. Be sure to go and like, comment, subscribe, do all the fun things, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.